Okay, I think this will be a very nice and brief case. Once again, we could see a kidney. The glomeruli are abundantly apparent. You could see some nice tubules. You could probably see part of a medulla, a collecting system here. You could see some large arteries. But what else do we see? Well, let's review the whole concept of embolization. As you know, an embolism, or an embolus, is a blood clot that forms in one part of the vascular system and then flows downstream and fixes into another. Okay, that sounds pretty logical. But let's say that you saw something in an artery like this, and you could tell this is an artery, and inside of the artery, not only was there some type of thrombotic material, but it actually had some cholesterol clefts inside of it. I think you could probably call that uh, or regard that as an embolism that formed from a part of the arterial system upstream and went to uh, lodge in a smaller artery. And the reason why you know this is arterial is because it has these cholesterol clefts. If it was only fibrinous, uh, it could be a blood clot from anywhere. But that's one feature about an embolism that forms uh, in an artery is that it may very well have parts of the atherosclerotic plaque in it as well. So here is a medium to large size uh, renal artery that could very well have uh, formed in an aorta. Thank you very much.